Day 14 is a mashup um, for me. Even though, you know, it's a continuation of yesterday's post, which was Holly. Um, and, you know, it's based upon the song Mistletoe and Holly. These leaves, foliage, greenery are a mashup, as I said before. Um, it's one part this excellent source material from the paper source. I saw these um, leaves around Thanksgiving time. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, but I distinctly remember when I saw them, I thought, oh my goodness, this is so excellent. Who thought of this? As you can see, it's got a lot of color and a lot of patterns, which is right up my alley. It's smack dab in the center of my happy place. And um, about three weeks ago, I saw mistletoe cookies done by a really, really excellent um, decorated cookie artist. And she goes by the name of Lila Loa. I'll connect, I'll connect. I'll place a link in the description box for her website so you can see what she did with her cookies. So you can get um, a full idea of where I was coming from. So, one part the paper source, one part Lila Loa, Bob's your uncle, that's my cookies. Um, as I said before, I've been dying to do this particular cookie design, and when I say this, I mean the paper source one, for a really long time. Um, and I was originally just going to do them for Thanksgiving, but as usual, life got in the way. And I decided this is the perfect opportunity for me to do these cookies. But I didn't want to do them um, exactly as they are in the calendar. I wanted to add a little bit of flair and originality. So I decided to make them the second part of the mistletoe and holly cookies. So at this point yesterday, that's when I filmed this. Um, I was still thinking I was going to pair these cookies together. So the assembled cookies I did yesterday for the holly and then these for the mistletoe. And I'm still thinking, oh, you know, it'll, it'll work. It'll jive well. But then there's a point a couple of seconds after this, when I get out the red royal icing to do dots, then I'm like, mm, I think these cookies deserve a day of their own. I don't think they should share the spotlight with the holly cookies so that's where i was and from that point on it was like someone had given me the keys to the candy shop and i was just going to try out every design idea combo that i had imagined or i thought was cool these um two designs on these cookies are probably in a tie for my favorite um, here, I guess I should give you some details about the actual work that I'm doing here. So in the calendar, there are cookies with these three concentric dots and, um, they have sort of stitching on the edges and here I'm just trying to figure out which technique works best to do it. So I'm sticking my scribe tool into the end of my, the piping tip of my bag with my white royalizing and it works really well. It was just super tedious. So I would dip the scribe tool and I would, you know, run it in the icing and then I would have to clean up the scribe tool every time. And as I've mentioned before, I'm a bit impatient and I was just like, I don't have time for this. So. I ended up just piping the rest of those dots and they're not perfect when they're piped but I wasn't too bothered just because I knew that there would be a lot of activity going on on these cookies so I didn't think um, some stray icing marks would be too um, problematic for the design. And as I said before, from here on out, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was trying everything out, doing everything that I imagined. These cookies right here are probably my favorite design. I said before with the ones previously that there was a tie, but I feel like if I had to place them, these would be my favorite. And the ones previous to this would be second. I 
think what I enjoy so much about these um, or this design is just that it's so playful. I mean, all of these cookies are fun and playful, but in particular, these feel really fun for me. And again, I think it's because it's not traditional Christmas colors. Yes, it's the white and the red, but I think the, the pink adds a little bit of whimsy to the design. Um, and since I had so many cookies, as I said before, I wanted to do the paper source cookies before, and I had pre-baked the cookies, but since I had so many cookies, I decided that I would devote some to the mistletoe theme, and then the others I would just decorate the way that I originally wanted to decorate the paper source cookies when I first saw the design. So even though this post is Vlogmas Day 14, um, Mistletoe from Mistletoe and Holly the Song, there are also some non-mistletoe cookies in here. And as I said before, this was just my license to try out everything that I thought would be cool or fun or anything that I'd wondered about, you know, like, ooh, do you think that would work? Hmm, maybe not. Hmm, maybe yes. So these, <clears throat> excuse me, cookies are probably the first ones where I'm somewhat straying from the mistletoe design. These cookies are completely inspired by the calendar. Um, and again, the, the one previous, so the solid green one with the yellow or goldish yellow stripes is another one of my favorites. And I mean, you know, you'll see all of these cookies at the end, so you can be the judge of which ones you enjoy or which ones you don't enjoy, or, you know, you might not like any of this. You might say, oh my goodness, how could you do that to these cookies? There's so much going on. There's too much going on. But as I said before, too much is sometimes more than enough or just enough for these cookies. And I think just because part of the inspiration or source for these cookies was so crazy that I really got a chance to play around and have fun and just live it up and enjoy myself. Um, I really don't know what else to say. I think I'm going to end the speaking part right here and just let you watch the video and see what you see. So that's day 14. I'll see you tomorrow.